Unis conversion lets you convert the standard voltage reading for a channel into suitable units for display. You can calibrate the channel using waveform measurements or known relationships. The conversion can be applied before recording so that all subsequent recordings are scaled to the required units, or after recording, either to the entire channel or to particular blocks of data. Each channel may be set up independently. To access the unit conversion window, go to your channel pull-down menu and select Units Conversion. The dialog has four text entry boxes. The vo actual voltages go in the left boxes and their equivalent readings go into the right boxes. If you know the relationship between what is measured and the displayed voltage, then you can directly type in values in the four boxes. For example, if you are using a temperature transducer and calibration shows that a temperature of 10 degrees Celsius gives a reading of 1 volt and 30 degrees Celsius gives a reading of 3 volts, then you may use the two-point calibration mode to key in those values. Next, we must choose the appropriate unit from the drop-down menu. In this particular example, we will choose degrees Celsius. We may then choose the number of decimal places up to six. And we can set the units for all and new data, new data only, or for selected blocks. We will choose to set the units for all and new data. You can see my units are still in volts, so I must press the preview button to calibrate my data and then press OK. Our data has now been successfully converted into degrees Celsius. You may also set up units conversion using values derived from sample data. Simply make a selection of your data and go back to the units conversion dialog window. Your selection will now appear in the units conversion window. You can shift and stretch the vertical and amplitude axis to make the best use of the data display area. It is the same as the amplitude axis in the chart view. If you click in the data display, a vertical line indicates a single point selection, and an indicator arrow at the right of the data display shows the point of intersection with the waveform. If there is a selected point or area in the data display, then clicking the value button enters the voltage value for a single point selection, or the average voltage for a selection. It is recommended to always take a selection when doing a two point calibration. For our next example, we will calibrate our signal into millimeters of mercury. First, I will make a selection, press the value button. We will say that this is equal to zero millimeters of mercury. We will then choose our second point, press the value button, and we will say this is equal to 100 millimeters of mercury. Next, we must choose the appropriate unit. Select our number of decimal places. Set the units for all the new data, then press Preview. Our units have now been converted into millimeters of mercury. Now press OK. You can see that my data is now reflected in millimeters of mercury. We may also turn units on or off by going back to the unit conversion dialog. You may use the radio buttons at the top to turn units off, or you may turn them back on. You may also define units that you do not find in the unit drop-down menu. Simply go to define unit. You may add a prefix if necessary. And then type in your unit. Press OK. Your new unit will now be added to the drop-down menu for future use.